back working on this thing. Gonna clean her up, spray her down, see how nice she comes out and check for any bends or cracks when we drop the car. Should be fine, but you never know. Let's see how good this thing turns out. We just got some tires mounted, truly is crown. We got a lot of work to do though. Let's see how good this gets. Perfect. Finally got and all the crevices and cracks from blowing so many axles. There's axle grease everywhere, diff oil everywhere. Looks good. Almost forgot. We gotta get this clutch pedal out because I'll be using that. You forget how much work this is until you start digging in. Finally, just got this thing out. Got all the diffy wiring pulled out. Trying to figure out the best way to get this chassis onto the forklift. All right, you're touching. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, so the idea is gonna chain the front down so it holds the back end from falling. Oh man, what did I get myself into? Got everything though. Brake booster, the GK Tech, ABS Elite, clutch, subframe collars, my water sprayer assembly, clutch slave and the master, full rear end. It's coming together. Oh, that wood is, let's put another piece of wood on there. All right, that's uh, fully supported by the forklift. We got two pieces of wood. We got this hooked up, so just in case the car wants to slide back. Oh yeah, coming out. Ooh. Dang, this looks wild. Oh, <laughs> that's not sketchy. You ever seen jack stands that big? <laughs> hey, it all worked out. Oh, I'm already tired of this automatic. Time to swap her over, I'm so excited. This project is a little bit more than I expected. It seemed pretty easy just talking about it, but once you start getting into like little stuff and all the wiring, it just gets kind of overwhelming. It's okay, we're doing our best. Let's get this thing on the lift. She's on the way. Start jamming this rear subframe off. Swap her out. All right, we're ready. We already got the four bolts on the subframe out. E-brake lines, we're gonna do the calipers now. Basically everything we just did on the other chassis. Jerry! That was quick. All right, we still got sunlight too. Looking in there, it's like a drift car. He goes back from the den. Are you still sick? I'm still sick. <laughs> Dude, you sound disgusting. Put your mask on. Anyways, last night we made a bunch of progress. The whole rear end's in. I'm leaving the stock suspension, but I got the whole subframe in. Still gotta get this thing registered, so we're gonna pull up all stock boys, if you know what I mean. Probably gonna throw this in Nico's so we can get his rolling. Throw the front in Nico's and get it over to the paint shop and try and fix the roof. So he should be up and running here soon. I might just let him borrow this NASR for now, just to get it rolling. We can't really work on the front right now because I have to get it registered and it needs to be like original motor and everything. So we're gonna get it registered and then we can start pulling the engine out and everything else. But today I think I'm gonna focus on the flipped car and get all the harness and everything out. The engine harness is still in there, ECU is still in there. That's gonna be kind of a pain because I have to run it through the firewall. We're gonna focus on this today, see how far we get. We got a lot to do. My brother's coming in five days and he wants to go drifting. So the plan is to get this thing in and running so we can drift this car by the time he gets here. Cutting it close, so we're gonna do our best. Time to start the chip. All right, here's where we're at. Got the grommet out. We're trying to figure out if it's easier to pass it through this way or pull it through this way. It's kind of ridiculous because the firewall hole where it passes through is behind all this crap. So I might have to drop this whole AC unit. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. There it is. 
wasn't as hard as I thought. I just had to pull this a little bit forward so I can stick my hand back there, but nice. There's the harness and I have a bunch of glass in my hand because there's a bunch of glass all over the floor. All right, we got high rod in boots. Nico's uncle's shop. Nico, is this your new car? You got T7Rs though. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. I want this. Yeah, look how clean it is. D series though. Still cool. This thing is so clean. What the hell? Throw these on so the car can get registration. The thing with Japan is all this little stuff has to be changed in order for it to be street legal. That's why in Japan, if you don't have a car shop, all these shops charge so much to get your car legal because they change every single ball joint and bushing and everything before you're able to drive it on the street so I'll show you I mean they're pretty crusty but they're not that bad but yeah that kind of stuff needs to be changed anything that's leaking needs to be changed the rules are pretty strict here for registration so when you're registering a car and you're letting a car shop do it they'll charge like a couple thousand dollars just to change all that stuff on your car and you could have done it yourself but not a lot of people work on their own cars so if you can work on your own car you save a ton of money, but that's how these places make their money. It's through shotgun and registration. That's how it is in Japan. Nico brought me back here. Look at this, what we found. It's 14, but look. It's a friggin' R31 covered in bushes. It's Nico's uncle's first car. Can we take it? No, 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 that. I want to take that. I want that. Oh. I don't know. Can you ask him? Get a forklift in here, freaking take it out. That'd be so cool. He'll probably sell it. How's this? Center mounted <laughs> cluster. Sick. Stock it. So wow, look at that rust. So good. How about this? Is this for sale? I have a customer looking for one of these. What about those? Damn, let's fix one of these up. Look at K Vans just sitting here, still waiting on parts. Brand new motor, already broken. Poor K Van. Let me get this running. You guys want to buy this thing? Is this thing for sale? It has a JZX90 1J swap. That doesn't look too promising. <laughs> 12 grand. Someone buy it. <laughs> you want to show them what this is? <laughs> show them what this is, Nico. <laughs> you thought it was a van. I don't know how it is. Just pull. <laughs> what is in here? It's a freaking poopy truck. There's a freaking toilet in here. Don't lock me in here. Stop it. A little pooper. That's where, yeah, is that where you poop? <laughs> no. What is this? Yeah, I'm so you. confused. Stop! <laughs> the military owns this whole freaking lot. Stop! All right, I got the jam. I got one boot changed. I'm just dragging time right now. That's nice. I'm gonna change this one. It should be good. All right, we finally got this thing off the lift. Check out the rear. <laughs> You can't really tell, but alignment's so off because this is from the race car. I wanted to film this because I'm about to clean these headlights. I don't think I'm going to get them too good, but I got to try my best. Let's see the difference. Much better, but still pretty beat. Look at that. Uh, that looks way better. I don't think I can get all this stuff. It's pretty bad up close, but good from far, far from good. I have other headlights too I'm probably gonna throw on. All right, next thing on the list, I have to remove these vents to get my new Deffies in, or my old Deffies in. I've been sitting here for a while. I finally figured it out. I got one done. I got two done. When I first did this on my other car, it took me like half a day, no joke. It is pretty complicated. You kind of do tear it up, but. It's covered when you put your gauges in. It's such a weird design. There's like a weird clip inside here that you have to pop down. Ooh, that one came out nicely. It hurts doing this, but you gotta do what you gotta do. The bottom one is even harder. Such a weird design. Anyways, I gotta focus on this. Get these out and the new ones in. Let's get these gauges in. Boom! We got the fresh Deffies. 
with an automatic transmission. What's going on? <laughs> We're making progress. I still need to throw this in. Spec cars came with that OEM mount for the boost gauge. So I already wired everything up. This is the last piece of the puzzle there. Stock steering wheel needs to go. And a full motor swap, you know, nothing too crazy. Oh, all right, what's next on the list? Door panel swap. Let's go, baby. All right, we got the new door panels in both sides. I've been messing around and getting all my other interior pieces in. It's looking like my old car. It's looking good. Everything is in. We figured out how to do it, even though we do the motor swap. As long as we record everything and show the DMV or whatever that it was properly done, then we should still be able to get this thing registered. So my brother's coming on the 15th. It's the 11th now. I don't know when I'm gonna post this video, but we're trying to hit the deadline and get this thing fully swapped out, ready to go for the event so I can bring him drifting. It's gonna be pretty close, but we're gonna do our best to get this thing swapped out. I'm excited, guys. Starting tomorrow, we are gonna pull this thing out, hopefully get the other engine in. We'll see how far we get. We'll see you guys soon. Well, I hope you guys are on board of this build. Today is the day we're gonna get this junk out of here. We're gonna try our best. So we're gonna get this thing on the lift and do what we do best, rip this thing apart. Progress report, freaking jamming. We literally have the starter and the steering rod. We're gonna drop this thing. Literally. Say it, Nico. Say it, Nico. Literally. <laughs> literally. I'm about to drop this thing. Radiator next. It's only been like 30 minutes. We're freaking jamming. Drive shaft, <laughs> exhaust is off, all the suspension stuff. We had just pulled up with a present. Oh, oh yeah. I got my wheels in for the NSX. Thanks, babe. Oh yeah, this is gonna be for another time. I don't wanna ruin the surprise. I'm gonna put these on. Once the tires come in, they should be in soon. This is exciting. I got parts building up over here in Nico's corner. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> this is my mess everywhere. Fender liners coming out. That side's already out. You know, a drift car. I'm gonna bang all this out. I'm not excited for that, but we're getting there, boys. All right, we are ready to drop the freaking motor finally. It wasn't that bad, that was like an hour. I was able to just unplug the harness from the fuse box so we can drop it with the whole motor. Which saves us a little bit of time trying to get in there. We're gonna get all the AC pulled out of the system. Let's go. That thing's doing its thing. And this thing's doing its thing. We got the ultimate heater here, fatty turbo. So I know I said I'm gonna do a actual high horsepower real race car, but things have changed. As you guys saw in the last video, Leah got her new car and the original plan was to just throw this thing in her car, but we have an event coming and I really wanna make it. I wanna bring my brother drifting. It's his first time visiting me in Japan. So I wanna make it a good time. And this is the fastest way to get this car running. So I'm gonna get this thing in. This engine is solid. It was rebuilt, it's good to go. So later down the line, I'm gonna do bigger turbo, bigger injectors, better tune. Hopefully make like four, 450. But right now we're at 300 horsepower. It's good enough for now to have some fun. We're just gonna get this thing back in so we can go drifting again because I'm impatient. Real build coming soon, I promise. <laughs> this thing's finished up. Now we can take off these two lines. Out she goes. Hour and a half. That's record breaking time, pulling the motor. What you doing over here, pops? Oh, a little bit by little bit, they say. <laughs> oh. 
Look how big this engine is. Oh my gosh. What is this? Is it a six cylinder? Yeah. But the pistons are like three times the size of a normal piston. Look how giant this motor is. Oh my gosh. How many Ks does this thing have on it? Maybe 600. 600,000? Yeah. Oh my gosh. These things go for like a million though, huh? Oh yeah. Getting tweaker down there. He's already changed this once, but yeah. apparently it takes some serious measuring and he put a brand new seal in there and it just started pissing a while. <laughs> so he's doing it again. You gotta do it right this time, Pops. Gotta love the yard. Oh, well, this looks familiar. Doing this again. It's like deja vu. We're ready to drop this thing, boys. That's it. Round two. Freaking won that one so quick. We're getting pretty good at this. All right. What are we doing on this motor? Making 2.2 liter. 2.2 liter SR. We're doing it. This is going to be the next race car build. Drift car junkyard back here. All right. We got to get this thing out. Gotta love the forklift. We gotta install a clutch on the automatic car so it doesn't have this template. So I'm making some ghetto template that I hope is gonna work. <laughs> oh gosh, it's ruined. There's gotta be a better way, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. We'll get there. Ugh, you stupid. All right, template is on. Looks pretty promising. Now to drill the holes. Got my clutch pedal right here. And then we got yeah. this, and that's what the template's for. This is gonna sit on that backside right there. So it needs to be pretty on. Can't have it like this. <laughs> I hope it works. And I just realized I probably need to make holes for this too. I gotta remove all this crap. I totally forgot. I'll probably do that before I start cutting. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Here. All right. Next. Cutting time. It's looking good. It's happening. Yeah, what? Why? Oh, I probably should have checked if there's stuff on it. All right. And we're through. Now I just gotta get rid of this automatic computer that doesn't need to be there anymore. All right, got this stupid ECU out. Now, I see a little template there. We weren't that off. Pretty good. All right, <laughs> we have perfect holes. Good job, Nico. <laughs> All right, the moment of truth. Hold on, ah, oh, I punch my face. How is it supposed to fit in here, man? So hard, man. So tight. It can't. Frick, it's so hard. Oh, I gotta rest. I'm so freaking tired. I can't do it. I give up. <laughs> Two thousand years later. All right, we finally have a clutch pedal. That was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. We're gonna cut the brake right here, but holy crap was that freaking hard. It was insane trying to mount this thing right there. I just died right now, but we got it in. That's the important part. I think I'm calling it for the night because I am so exhausted just off that stupid clutch pedal. I'd rather swap a motor four times and install a clutch on an automatic car. That was ridiculous. It's perfectly lined up. Looks OEM. I'll take it. Always gotta end the night with good Look at this. This is a new year from the spot because the other place got me food poisoning. Only you. Only you. <laughs> My stomach's super weak. We got yu tongue, cow tongue, and wagyu. What's wagyu to me? Wagyu is that. You see all that fatty in between? Is that? I don't know what it means, but comment down below what wagyu is, guys. I'm too lazy to look it up. Tomorrow. All right, day four. We are getting there. We got the harness out. That was something I was worried about, but it was quite easy. That pops helped me out. Nico's at his rehabilitation for his knee, so he's not going to be here, but 
check it out we got the whole harness out we are ready gonna do a little spray down clean it up it's a bit dusty see how good we can clean this thing i was thinking of painting it but i might just keep it gray if we can get it good i think it's gonna come out amazing not too shabby look at that 25 year old paint looking good this car is really good there's like barely any rust it's looking good we're getting there boys i went ahead and sprayed the engine down too got this thing all pretty before we put it in so far so good this thing cleaned up nicely there is a lot more i have to do before i get this thing in to fit my angle kit and have it not bind on anything all this needs to be smashed out i know you guys have seen that in the videos before but it's quite a bit of work got to bang out here bang out all that both sides Sides, a little bit on the frame, move that brake line forward. Uh, it's quite a bit of stuff to do, but when you're building a full drift car, this is what happens. Anyways, I'm gonna start jamming some more. What is this? <laughs> Nico just pulled up with this thing. It's so random. Anyways, FD is still for sale, guys. We still got this thing stored up, so please hit me up ASAP. We need this thing gone ASAP, seriously. Thing is minty fresh, ready to go. This thing's going off to Okinawa for a customer, finally. And we are starting to mock up the new kit for Leah's crown. We're gonna bring this thing to the paint shop soon. I was just gonna try on the side skirts. We got the front and rear bumper. This thing is gonna be insane with the kit. And then it might be for sale. Let me know, guys. Yard is packed right now. All right, time to finish up this mess. Would you take a look at that? I got my old harness finally in here. Jeez, you know how hard that is to send a freaking harness behind all this crap. <laughs> we did it, boys. Now I gotta get everything hooked up. Boom. That is the most satisfying thing I've done on this car. Made everything fit perfect. OEM. Just gotta put the panel back and voila. Freaking in there, boys. Oh my god. Let's start making holes for the intercooler. I already took out the battery chair here. Normally I just freaking caveman and rip this thing out, but Nico did it properly. Drilled out all the spot welds, pried it right out. Oh yeah, jamming. Oh, drill dive. Go and ghetto, boys. All right, last step, we need to pound out the fenders. I already got this side all good. It's tiring. Let's see how good we can do it. All right, we got it all flattened. You guys don't know, when you have an angle kit, geez, I'm tired and bleeding. The wheel hits on the fender, inner fender wheel, so when you pound everything out, you get that clearance, same as the front. What a job. We're almost ready to drop this thing in. That was the last step. And we still need to chassis coat it. Oh, nice. That works. Spray it all black in here. Good as new. You guys bored of this yet? <laughs> Seriously, I just want to finish this. We're going to get this thing in today. I hope so. Last night, we did finish up this. I sprayed this because we heated it up and the paint got messed up. We cut this out. Got that all done. I'm probably going to have to respray this. I'm thinking of just masking it off and going all black there so you can't really see it. But we only had silver at the moment. So far, so good. We got everything here. Fender wells are looking good. Ready for that angle kit. I think the last thing on today's list is get this automatic shift linkage crap. I have no idea how to get all this stuff out. I've never dealt with automatic, so I'm gonna figure that out. Take the stock steering wheel out and we are gonna be ready to throw this engine in. I have three hours to get this done. Picking up my brother at the airport. Time to jam. Nico's here. We got jam, Nico. Ohio. Ohio. I'm not gonna time lapse this. We're just gonna do a transition. Here you guys go. All right, well. Get in there, bud. <laughs> I think the biggest thing was just to get this in. The automatic one is completely different. So we got that changed out. Everything's good to go, ready for the trans to pop up in there. And then we already got the quick release on. We're good to go. All right, guys, moment of truth. I have 30 minutes left. We're gonna get this in. All the wiring done. Everything is set. It's going down. <laughs> She's in there, boys. Just gotta hook up the rest of this stuff, the harness. Man, this car is coming along. You guys didn't notice, it's the next day. And I got a haircut, and Nico's not here. And I came here for one reason, 
Not to work on this thing, but to pick up my new wheels for the NSX. Are those the new GMR Caesars? I think those are the new <laughs> GMR Caesars, dog. Look at this here. Some GMR Caesars, bro? Pretty good, dog. <laughs> Gabe came out the cut. I just picked them up from the airport. I'm glad to be here. Finally. Yeah, man. Finally, I'm showing him the new wheels. I told him the NSX is too low to be driving around. So I got 18s finally. Three piece GMR Caesars made in the u.s repping them out here in japan thank you boys for always hooking up you guys can get these i'll link them down in the description you guys gotta check out gmr wheels awesome quality they have all the wheels you can possibly think of just telling you now cop some anyways we gotta head back to the house i'm kind of done working on this for now gabe's only here for 10 days trying to go yeah. drifting but right now you see how much more we have bro i mean we got pretty far nico's already mounting the oil cooler here i just gotta hook up the harness but we're getting there this car should be done soon i still have to put the rear suspension on put the wheels on get the full wide body on but that's what that is yeah man gabe's finally here though Ooh, you guys will great. see him for the next couple vlogs nice and clean you see that all banged out should be solid man Looks good omd ready but anyways we're gonna go back to the pad right now and put these nsx wheels on and i hope they fit if I did my calculations correctly, they should fit, but you know cars and how they can be. Anyways, let's get these home. We'll see you guys there. What do you think, buddy? Uh, that's a nice Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't know, me and Gabe went half on this Ferrari. We've had it for, what, three months now? I've driven it once. A lot of you guys have been asking what, what's going on with the Ferrari. Well, it still has that transmission leak that I need to figure out. But for some reason, it kind of fixed itself. It's not leaking anymore. I'm not sure if I topped it off too much or something, but we might take it out. Not today, but Gabe definitely has to drive this thing. It's my Ferrari, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it's his first time actually seeing it today. It's your first time actually sitting in Ferrari? Yeah, it's my first time sitting in Ferrari. What do you Ferrari, think? Right? It's not bad, huh? I mean, I'm not mad. 34 I mean, with a Ferrari, you know? It's not too bad. <laughs> it's doing pretty good. Yeah, so basically, Half of it's his, half of it's mine. <laughs> we can't export it because it's a 2001. So it's kind of just chilling. But me and Gabe bought this car and we were like, oh dude, yeah, we want to do a bunch of stuff to it. Make it sick, make it five speed, ship it to Cali, fit it out, put air suspension on there. But we came up with this crazy plan to give this car to somebody. And I'm not going to mention who it is. Someone very important person in our lives. But stay tuned for that. Definitely. Uh, gonna be a good one <laughs> so we're gonna try and drive this thing i'm gonna bring gabe out not right now hopefully soon though make some ferrari content he's only here for 10 days so we're gonna make the most out of it anyways there's the update on the rari things just chilling but we're gonna work on cars today we got everything gotta love the prius baby What a freaking fail. So the wheel is hitting the brake caliper. So I tried the ghetto route and I just tried to file down where it was hitting. Came to the conclusion, I'm just gonna get a seven mil spacer instead of this five and hopefully it'll clear it. I ended up just scratching the brake caliper. So I sprayed it black. I'm thinking I'm just gonna spray the whole caliper black. Doesn't look too bad. What am I doing to an NSX guys? Anyways, I gotta go to up garage really quick. Grab these spacers. All right, we're here. Was that fun riding in a tight bar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My little niece has her Recaro seat. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Let's see if they got these spacers. Well, out of luck, boys. They only have the same ones that I have on the car right now. Unless I stack two threes. Oh, yep, two threes, dog. I won't have much thread, but I'm gonna try it. All right, we back, boys. Moment of truth. Oh my gosh. Fitment is crazy. Look at that. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> All right, now I gotta do some fine tweaking because it's still hitting the brake, but barely. I just need to do something. All right, front is on. Now we need to start the rear. And then we can get a proper look at this thing. We'll pull it out of the garage. Oh, it's gonna be sick. Honda boys. Oh my gosh. I give up, boys. Doesn't fit. 
Well, the new wheels are gonna have to wait. I need to go check if Nico has some 15 mil spacers and maybe they'll fit, I don't know. Front turned out good, but I can't really see it without the rear being done. So I'm gonna have to either try Leah's SP1s on here or get these to work. I don't know, we'll see. Fitment on the front, it's pretty sick though. All right, anyways, we'll get back to this another time. What is this thing doing here? We snuck out of the house. Have a bit of free time to finish up whatever's left on this motor-wise. We still have a lot to do to get this thing started, but we're gonna start putting the harness on, see how far we can get. Got my assistant here. You ready to jam? I came from California. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get going on this thing. Nico should be on his way. forgot about the tassie harness you have to tuck it so what we did hammer this out this was running underneath if you don't know now you know if you want to build a drift car this is always the rookie mistake people don't tuck this harness and you end up rubbing through it and then your car just goes berserk your windshield wipers start going off your blinkers start going off everything starts to mesh together it just melts because the tire rubs remember this is for right hand drive if you have a 240 in America, you do this on the opposite side. There you go. Everyone's gonna be looking for the harness. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're almost done though. We're pretty much ready here. Gotta get the radiator in, but all the wiring is finally done. Zip tied up, looking nice. Piping still. Nico went ahead and did the chassis coat underneath, sprayed it all black. Solid. I haven't been filming, but we've been jamming. I got this all sprayed black. Nico made some custom mounts for the oil cooler. Riveted those in. We're doing piping. Cut that out and radiator and shoot, we should be able to fire this thing up in no Wired time. Up. <laughs> 